part two. You get a belt. You get a belt. So, so online has been on fire about this whole ordeal. Uh, salute to Blue Blood and 78. I watched their videos on it as well. Uh, I, I made one earlier today. And what I did not realize was Javante Tang Davis actually, he said something that I agree with. He said he ain't paying for this ish. And Suleiman said that it was a sad post to read. Now, the WBC is supposed to give, be given a freedom belt on June 15th. And it's supposed to do the, for the Frank Martin, Javante Tank Davis match. And the winner gets the WBC freedom belt. Now it's not even a WBC sanctioned fight as Tank Davis is a WBA champion at 135 pounds. But the WBC, I don't know if y'all noticed, but they do this often. When uh, Canelo fought, I think it was Amir Khan, they gave a belt. When Adrian Broner fought Mikey Garcia, they gave some diamond belt, but it wasn't a, a real belt. And then, you know, they came up with the franchise belt, the European belt, the McDonald's belt, the Blockbuster belt, the Amazon belt. You know, they had some belt when Floyd and Conor McGregor fought. It was some kind of, I forget the name of it, but this is what they do. They throw it out there as marketing tactics because the WBC, if for whatever reason, is regarded as like the cream of the crop as far as belts. Most fighters want to have that green belt, which to me, they all the same. You got to pay sanctioning fees for all of them. All of them, they be playing games as far as the people who run it. But that's what people do. So that's why Suleiman did that. But shout out to Tank Davis for that. And I'm, let me say why. This is the reason why boxing is so, so confusing. You think every single fight is a championship fight. Unless you're a real diehard fan, you see people go up there. Listen, Mikey, I mean Mikey, Ryan Garcia be having these belts and he's never been a world champion. I'll say that again. He has never been a world champion and he has these belts. I remember Tank Davis fought and the PBC marketed it as a WBC champion, champion chip fight, even though Devin Haney was the, was the super champion. So it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It don't make no sense. But, you know, I'd shout out the tank for sticking up for that because what they do is they mess around and give them that belt or trinket, whatever they want to call it. And then they're going to want some uh, sanctioning fees. You know, and a lot of people are, are tired of that. You know, people are, no, nobody know what's going on as far as like where the money going, any of that. They're just saying, oh, you want our belt? You know, give us two, give us two to three percent per belt. So imagine if you're a unified champion, you got to pay all them sanctioning fees. And then, like I said, why is the WBC showing up when there is absolutely no reason? And guess I won't be surprised if Suleiman shows up with some belt for uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Don't be surprised. You know, it'd be the, the I don't know, the WBC, who who's the best or the WCBC Mike title belt. It's just it's ridiculous, man. And it's one of the reasons why boxing is where it is. But I will salute tank on he, he don't want the belt he ain't paying for it and don't none of it make any sense i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think